what will be obsolete in 10 to 15 years. Some public schools have begun to send class assignments to students through the internet. Snow days are no longer with us. As a teacher I hate this. Kids need unstructured time. And snow days are a fun surprise that provide this. I grew up in California. I went through my entire time in school without one day where something unexpectedly required our school to close. My senior year of high school we finished our finals a week ahead of the rest of the school because of graduation. That meant that I did not have to go to school, but my younger brother and sister did. I was still in bed when my brother came busting into my room at 10am with the biggest cheating grin on his face. I asked him why he was home and he responded through his smile power outage. Limited data plans for phones. I remember when minutes and texting costed money. I think data is gonna be next to go. It's ridiculous to have limits. I was listening to a song yesterday with the lyrics I'm completely out of daytime minutes. So I guess I'll have to wait a lot until 8 o'clock comes around in reference to cell phones. That seems so antiquated. But it was only about 20 years ago. Also bizarre to remember. When text messages were limited, somewhat expensive, and pretty much text only. Vehicle registration stickers. I'm intrigued explain. Not the guy you replied to, but him in the UK, where we had a similar system, where we would have to display our tax disc on the vehicle, we did away with it in favor of an online system linked to the car's number plate. So no need to display the tax disc, and you can pay for it all online, saving you the hassle of going to apply for it in person. It's much better. You can also pay for it much more flexibly now instead of paying one big fee every 6 months slash 1 year. You can set up a monthly direct debit. A lot of minimum wage jobs. And a lot of people currently in minimum wage jobs. Maybe not quite 15 years. But we are only a few decades away from most humans not having any skills which can't be performed by automation. When most people are unemployable. The economy is going to either implode, or have to be completely reformed. Cable television. I think it might go full circle. Already kinda happening with bundling. Hulu plus Disney plus plus ESPN packages. They will all separate realize they are losing general base who might have stumbled across one of their shows. If someone was just scrolling through, the amount of money spent on advertising reminding people where their favorite show is located is going end up costing more. Eventually they'll all conglomerate again, and same old circle. But I do realize people enjoy their freedom of choice so who knows, it was a nice idea, but I agree. The quality and abundance of the content has shrunk too. Everyone is pushing their content. Less movies. Hardly any syndicated TV. Etc. Remember waiting 2 to 4 months after a movie was in theaters. Before it was on Netflix. Now it's movies. That 4 to 12 years old or original content. Which mostly sucks. Hopefully Facebook and Twitter. Can't wait for their replacements. Ugh, my mom keeps tagging me on head Kindle with these lame Ace minion memes. It's not even funny. Yeah sure, but listen to this. That post on my Squacker account got almost 9001 shares overnight. Food delivery jobs. Self-driving robots are probably going to replace delivery drivers. Not just food, but probably all types of delivery. Amazon will probably get to that point first, and try to monopolize it somehow Jeffrey III Jeffrey Bezos. Every electronic device recently released, I dunno, man, I still use a 2011 MacBook Pro and it works perfectly well, I have a keyboard from the Reagan administration, that I still use daily. New petrol and diesel cars, electric cars will be cheaper, to buy in 5 years or so, and are already much cheaper to run. Obsolete in 10 years. I can't see that. Maybe obsolete in 30 to 40 years even then. Feel there may be some still out there. Printed newspapers. Actually I think most will be gone in 5 years. Which is actually horrifying. Newspapers do the lion's share of actual reporting. And are usually the only way local corruption gets rooted out. There is a reason why politicians and the wealthy target journalists so hard. Newspapers especially. It's fairly obvious. Just pay attention to any cable news show for a bit, and you'll start to see it. According to the, insert newspaper here, an investigation from, insert newspaper here. The decline of newspapers, in my opinion, impacted society way more than people seem to think about. A lot of the erosion of trust in journalism, can be attributed their desperate on to survive. 
to keep the lights on. They sell themselves to billionaires and corporations which use their influence to push an angle. They also do increasingly clickbait stuff to get money, both to keep lights on and to appease their corporate masters, which father erodes trust. Free and fair press was supposed to be a fourth estate of democracy, and that institution becoming sick and dying was a warning long before the decay was apparent in the other areas. Possibly most fast food staff, I don't agree with it at all, but it's been shown that the entire process of ordering to pick up can be automated given how by the book the food production can be, it would definitely be cheaper to maintain as well, not to mention an increase in customer satisfaction, since it's much less likely an order will take too long, or get messed up, automation will put a lot of people out of work over the next 20 years. And it's both sad slash scary, but also fascinating. As a former fast food worker, I say the sooner the better. Man over the years I watched every new hire go from young and healthy to picking up smoking, stress, sugar, developing anxiety, depression and sleep disorders all within one year of starting the job. It's killing our young people. And yet we celebrate someone getting a job, like it's something good. Your $4,000 at home theater receiver. They go obsolete yearly basically. Quality receivers from the 70s fetch high prices ATM. What? My dad gave me his speaker setup, receiver, and speakers, when I was a kid like 20 years ago. I've been moving them into every new apartment and house I've lived in since then. Right now all that gear is sitting in my basement. It's still in great condition I was just down there the other day listening to music on them. And now you're telling me that this stuff is worth money. They are phasing out cashiers as we speak. Every time I use a self-checkout I think about how I'm acting as my own cashier. I bet self-order fast food will take over too. I've seen them at McDonald's before. Jobs versus technology. LCD TVs. Eventually you will just go by panels that stick together and to the wall. And you will be able to have a TV as big or small as you want. Or the entire wall. Or all the walls. The panels will be about the same cost as high-end vinyl plank flooring, and will have a control module that they build out from that houses the power supply and remote functions. But after that you basically just tell the TV what size and shape it is, and the picture conforms to the available display. There will also be a thriving market of fake basement windows and the like at the same time. We already have the technology to do this. It's just a matter of time until the cost of the printed panels comes down far enough to make that practical. Passwords. At least, not ones you make up yourself and have to remember. I see biometrics becoming more common and easy to use. For devices without biometric inputs, you can use random password generators coupled with password managers. Biometric is less safe than a password. A simple photo has been used to bypass a fingerprint scan. Same for face recognition. What's next? DNA. I can easily get some of your DNA by grabbing a hair behind you. Nothing can beat a strong password so far, and it's unlikely to change. Real estate agents. So we will just have pretend ones. Online house buyers slash sellers are taking over. Essentially sites like Zillow, Opendoor, Realtor, Redfin ETC are now buying out houses at premium price cash directly to the seller. They then turn around and sell the house for the same price, but charge a commission fee much less than what a real estate agent would making it cheaper for the seller. The 2-3% difference is a lot. Keys that need to be turned to start the ignition in a car engine. Is it weird that I prefer this over buttons? Pre-ordering a new Ford Maverick truck, and I was actually pleasantly surprised to see it still uses a physical key.